Okay, so this is my three months later review or three months later update of the Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 Pro that I have here. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, let's go ahead and keep this very simple. So nice and easy here, right? So we're gonna just quickly go over some of the physical features here and just talk about how well they've been holding up, which by the way, they have been holding up very well. Like if you've been following the channel for a while, then you know that I do take care of all of my tablets, all of my devices, and this one was no different, right? So I have no scratches, no dents whatsoever. Everything still works fantastically. One of the first things that hit me about this tablet were the speakers, right? So you get four speaker grills two on each side except the tablet itself actually holds eight speakers so the sound quality well the volume is pretty high and sound quality is actually very very good so that has not changed it's still you know pump that sound still pumps that sound pretty well the fingerprint sensor still works very very well it is placed at the top here or well on the side like this it kind of mimics what you have on the ipad air right ipad air 4 specifically it still works pretty well we also still have that usb type c that remains very basic right so this is as basic as you can go with a USB Type-C. It doesn't really, you a slow transfer, a slow data transfer, I should say. You are not able to push out video signal, you know, from this tablet, right? So it's a pretty powerful tablet. So if you were trying to increase your productivity, try to multitask, you know, try to take your multitasking to another level by trying to extend, you know, the content to a, an external monitor, you wouldn't be able to do that with that USB Type-C. Unfortunately, not. there hasn't been any updates to actually fix that or update that but I'm thinking it's more hardware related anyway so I doubt that they'd be able to provide any type of update that can change that outcome but anyway so it's still there it still works as a you know charging port and slow data transfer other than that that's pretty much it in terms of physical features as far as just the tablet itself the way it still looks cosmetically still very very clean fingerprint magnet though as you can see it does grab fingerprints like crazy and by the way if this is your first time visiting well welcome to the channel of course please make sure to hit both the like and the subscribe button there. I truly appreciate that. But anyway, so the other physical feature that I want to bring up here, of course, is going to be the camera. The camera on here is actually pretty nice, right? Especially for a tablet. And I'm not comparing this to like, you know, a phone camera or anything, but for a tablet, it is actually a very nice camera and it's been working. It's been doing a pretty good job. You are looking at a 13 megapixel main sensor and a five megapixel depth sensor on here. And on the front, of course, the selfie camera is going to be an eight megapixel camera. Now, this is pretty similar in terms of specs to what you would get from the Galaxy Tab S7, right? So 13 and five, and then at the front, you have that five megapixel. And going to this front here, it's an 11 inch tablet. So it's exactly the same size as the Galaxy Tab S7 actually a good competitor to that one if you ask me so 11 inches for this tablet here and it uh, it does support high refresh rate at up to 120 hertz of course you can go ahead and dial that down to the standard 60 hertz but it can sustain that 120 hertz and picture quality is actually fantastic the resolution here is actually pretty high you know this is a true pro tablet but anyway so you do have that 120 hertz refresh rate loaded here and then the resolution here is 25 60 by 1600, which again, for an 11 inches, given that size, that is pretty pixel dense. So image quality is actually pretty sharp. And this is an IPS display, by the way, in case I missed that. So image quality is pretty sharp. So IPS display 2560 by 1600. You would only imagine so it's just fantastic for you know watching videos watching movies playing games and speaking of games right it's a very powerful tablet so you can actually use it as a gaming tablet so owning something like this is like owning a galaxy tab s7 so when it comes down to gaming you know medium light medium heavy games you will be just fine with this guy here and since we're talking about heavy games let's go ahead and talk about platform which in this case this guy is boasting a snapdragon 870. so you have to keep in mind that when this guy dropped the samsung galaxy tab s7 of course with the snapdragon 865 plus was one of the most praised of course when it came down to power right so you have this with a snapdragon 870 so clocked slightly faster than what you have on the you know snapdragon 865 plus that is found on the galaxy tab s7 so very respectable level of performance out of this guy here it's been performing like that since day one haven't encountered any lag any crashes just like it is the case with you know either my galaxy tab s7 or the s7 plus it is 
just very powerful it still powers through you know all types of tasks without any issues you know i've never picked this up and you know was nervous about oh, is this going to handle this task it's been able to kind of plow through all tasks without any issues so when it comes down to performance since day one up until now it is still going strong also it is loaded with six gigs of ram so in terms of multitasking and you know toggling back and forth you won't have any issues there you have 128 gigs for the internal storage and unfortunately it it is non-expandable a little bit like it is a case with you know ipads this guy here is non-expandable now we can't talk platform without talking ui right and this is going to lead into you know accessibility and usability and just how comfortable that gui is me ui 12 has been just seamless right it's been pretty well integrated with this tablet with an android tablet the only issue that i've always had with that and i've brought this up a couple of times or a few times in the past is just the fact that it mimics apple's you know operating system so much it is you know gooey wise when you look at it it is essentially the same so it kind of felt weird to use something that is a non-apple device mimic that same interface but you know i got used to it so if you were to buy this you'll be just fine you get used to it but anyway so in terms of performance and you know usability it's been the same nothing has really changed it's been working you know perfectly since day one and it is still going strong the battery also is pretty good i haven't seen it go down very similar to what you have on the galaxy tab 7 which is pretty typical for something 11 inches right so that that's about where you want the battery to be at least so it does last a full day based off your usage you may see more or less but to me it does last more than you know the full day and it is also fast charge capable at up to 67 watt which is pretty insane that is a very very good thing here but that's pretty much all i had to say about the xiaomi mi pad 5 pro here if that's something that you are in the market for go out there and really grab it it's a good tablet it's a pretty good tablet out of an affordable price and that's the reason i'm saying it's a good tablet right so when you consider price and what it has to offer it is pretty good now when it comes down to certain things in terms of leveling up your productivity you may encounter some issues trying to push out you know some of the content so that you can play or work in a more comfortable way like you would in, with the galaxy tab s7 but other than that this is still an excellent tablet now there's also the xiaomi mi pad 5 that you can go for and i wasn't able to grab one but i hear it does work wonders right so i was thinking about grabbing more but i think i'm just gonna pass for now but anyway so if you are in the market for this this is definitely a go for me especially if you can find it at an even cheaper price uh, you also have to keep in mind this is still you know you would still have to order that from mainland china i'm not sure that it's it went global the regular me pad 5 i know that that went global but i don't know that this guy went global but anyway that's just my take on this tablet here let me know what your questions think that you'd like for me to take a look at on this tablet i be more than happy to share with you i appreciate you sticking with the video up until now certainly make sure to share the video of course like comment i'm going to catch you in that comment section i'm also going to catch you in the next video make sure to subscribe just in case you forgot to do that i'm going to catch you in the next video and up until that next video of course as always stay safe out there